If you have two stars in orbit about each other, which is a very common thing in the universe, then they're not going to be the same mass in most cases. The one that's more massive will evolve more quickly. And as it ages and evolves, it will swell up. And it will get so large that its outer surface can come in contact with the gravitational region of influence of its partner star. The smaller star becomes a vampire. It sucks the bloated outer layer of gas from its bigger partner. And as the vampire feasts, it burns hotter and hotter, turning a brilliant, youthful blue. The vampire's victim is sucked dry, reduced to a lifeless stellar core known by astronomers as a white dwarf. But like any good horror movie, this murderous tale has a twist, exploding zombies. There's all sorts of stories about zombies. What if the dead could actually come back and take revenge on the people who killed them? Well, something similar really does happen with stars. As the blue straggler ages, it swells so much, the dead white dwarf starts to steal some of its gas back from the vampire. The dead star rises again to become an exploding zombie. As that material piles up, it gets hotter and hotter, and you're basically piling up tremendous amounts of hydrogen. And if it gets hot enough and the pressure gets enough, basically you have created a hydrogen bomb the size of a planet. That star explodes. These stars can get revenge. Once the zombie explodes, it takes out the vampire that sucked its life away. For decades, astronomers have been puzzled by the number of tiny dead white dwarf stars they see exploding in the night sky. But here finally could be an explanation. Our galaxy is filled with vampires and exploding zombies. What does that say about the rest of our galaxy? A huge chunk of the stars in our galaxy are sort of stealing life from their friends to stay forever young. The birth and death of vampires could be the reason we see blue stragglers today. But amazingly, it could also explain why we're here too. There's no way in this universe to get life without death. You can't possibly have materials to build planets or people or anything around us without supernovae. So these vampires and these zombies, well, actually they're our parents. You and I, we could be the result of these vampire stars transferring gas back and forth in these binary systems, leading to stellar explosions that blew out the building blocks of life into the universe. <laughs> <laughs>